Uh, a bit of a rainy day in Perth today. The um, sky doesn't look too bad, it's just been raining all night, um, most of yesterday and the day before. But yeah, I think it's going to fine up, so I might get a ride in, we'll see how we go. Um, another little project just come to hand this morning. Because um, I started riding, I wouldn't mind knowing how fat I am. So um, I've got these scales, we've had them for years, haven't used them in probably 10 years or so. And the batteries were flat, just takes um, 2032 little watch battery things. And we don't have any spares, so rather than go to the shop and buy some, which would be the easy option, I'm going to try and make it run off a power pack because there's just no point having it on batteries because um, you've got to keep turning them on and off, and it's a pain. You've got to flip them over, and there's a tiny little I don't know if you can see, there's a tiny, I'll just turn the light on. There's a tiny little switch in there, kilograms, pounds, and off. And if you, if you leave it on kilograms, it's like flat in a, in a few weeks. So um, unless you're using them every day, you're not really getting the money out of the batteries. Uh, one option is to convert it to double A's. It's 3 volt and 3 volt. I've got to figure out whether it runs on 3 volt um, and it's using two batteries to get the extra, make the tank bigger, so to say. Or is it going 3 volt, 3 volt to run on 6 volt? So I've got to figure that out. That's what that's for. I'm going to set that to I'm going to set that to three volts, and then just power uh, one battery, and see if it turns on. And if it doesn't turn on, I'll whack it up to six volts, and I'll have to make a jumper. So negatives on the bottom is this big prong. Negatives a big prong, positives the little uh, thing on the side. Uh, I think I'll, I'll have to find a battery to find out, but it's it's easy to find out anyway. Uh, shouldn't blow it up; it just won't work. Um, uh, do, 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 what else? Yeah, so yeah, so if it is needs six volt, I've got a. I've just found this a little five volt, five volt. Um, if it, I mean, if it needs six volt, it should run on five volt. So that's one way to power it. I just have to extend the lead because it's not quite quite long enough. So uh, we'll do that. But um, yeah, I think that'll be the best way rather than trying because if you make it run on double A's, you're gonna have to find a way to. Uh, you could do it. You could stick it to the glass, but you'd need like a four four bank of um, double A's or triple A's probably would do, would do and then have to wire it into that and I don't have that anyway so I'd have to go to the shop anyway um, so I'll try and do it with what I got um, so the fir first step is to suss out I've got this set to five volts but it's probably not the most accurate thing in the world um, So I always check it with a multimeter. So I'm getting five, five point four eight. So I'll just whack it down a bit until I get exactly five volts, or near enough. Because five point one. Yep. All right. So now. Probably crank the soldering iron up and um, oh, actually get some wire. Doesn't need um, doesn't need anything thick. Um, this this will be fine. This stuff. Um, bloody bird's nest. If I can find the end, there we go. Cut a bit of this up to use as um, just the jumpers. And like that. Actually, I'll probably probably strip them, strip them completely. Like that. And this cool little tool. Had this for years. Stripping, very easy. Like that, and then I'll just get the soldering on cranked up and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I just checked this plug pack on the uh, multimeter, it says it's 5 volts, actually pumping out 5.3, so um, that's that's even better. And I'll just tin the, just tin the ends up, get them ready. So we'll use that, and then we'll use 
use these if we have to. Well, we will, we will have to. But first of all, I'm just going to... Interesting. So I'm going to have to solder it because um, I've got to flip it over. I can't really hold it. So I'm just going to pick the top battery. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I forgot to say, if this doesn't work, I don't really care. Um, I'm going to go get some scales that with a dial that don't take batteries because this is um, not necessary really. So red's going to, black's going to go to that bottom one. Like that. Oh, that broke off. Need more heat. There we go. She's tight. And then just skip this up. A bit more. Probably should have cut this one a bit shorter, but that's alright, that'll work. I'll give you a look once I'm done. And I've heard. If that was an electrical noise, I can't see any smoke. So I've got a light somewhere here. Where is it? That. So yeah, you can see I've just done the black to that and that to that. So we'll flip them over. And let's have a look. See if that works. Now to turn them on, oh, make sure the switch is on. Yep, 10 kilograms. So you could even have a faulty switch, I'm not sure. Like that, and then you used to just lift them up, and that, that's what turned them on. Okay, so that's not working. All right, so I'd say it needs six volts. Um, and because it's only connected to the one battery, it ain't working. What I might do, because um, it may be that that's the secondary battery and the one on the bottom is the primary. I don't know if that makes a sense or is even a thing. But what I'll do is I'll just connect it exactly the same just to the bottom battery and see if that works. So a nice big hunk of solder. And same on the positive. And just get that out of the way for now. there so it might work without having the jumper we'll see okay try that if that works that'll be a bonus negative Flip the switch a couple times, turn it off, turn it back on. Okay. No, that's not working. That's alright. So now because each battery is three volts, we want we want to be able to trick it to think that it's got batteries in there. So what we're gonna have to do, we'll just take these off and we'll start up start up with the jumper. Jumper leads now. We'll just do it roughy. So positive to negative, negative to positive, and then just power one side of the battery, one battery, so we'll, we'll power the top one, which means it's going to have to have negative, like I said, we'll do it rough if it works, we'll do it properly, ah shit, weather. Okay. That little negative post is really keeping the heat in. Okay, so then that will go to the positive. And then, I think this is right. 
that's a you want a series connection yeah no this should be right I think only one way to find out so that's positive to negative something's beeping right when I connected that Oh, that's my multimeter. I thought I got it right already. Okay, and now we just need to reconnect these. I should have left these connected actually. Uh, so we'll do the bottom one. And what I should do is probably turn turn this off. Just so we're not soldering with um, live power. Not, not that it's a lot, it's only 5 volt. That's come off that one. That's all right. Sorry, you probably can't see that because my fat fingers are in the way. But two seconds. And then that needs to go back on. Okay, it's pretty delicate. No, that's okay. Oh, I think. That was a different buzzing noise. No. Let's um I can hear the power pad working. So it's definitely something's going on, so negative to positive. Voltage. What's going on? Oh, no, 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 okay. That's not right. Could have done this a different way. Just thinking about it now. So we'll take that, that off. Take that off. Take that off. I think we can do this a bit simpler. Just have a bit of a brain fart, I think. So we'll go positive to that one. Negative down here. And now we should only need a negative to positive connection. It's a little bit in the way. That's right. I think it's on too. That's better. That's the same thing. So now we should have probe from this negative to that positive. And still not. Still not working. It's not a really good fit in the power board. Let me just um, tighten it up a bit. Ooh. This thing might be stuffed. Oh, it probably is now. Okay, lights on. No, it's not. What's going on? Um, it's making a noise. Like it's on. Let's have a look here then. Positive to negative. No, nah, it's not working. Okay. Wonder why that is. I'm not getting any voltage out of that pack. It's a pretty loose fit. Yeah, I can hear it buzzing away. Nah, it's like millivolt. Okay. New plan. Move. Take that off. I've got another one. So I just tried that other 
power pack thing in a couple different configurations. Hopefully I didn't blow anything up, but it um, doesn't work. And I've got exactly six volts now coming out. I'm using, um, this thing says it's six volts, but I tested it and it's nine volt. So I don't know what's going on there. And so I got one of these off my right control planes and that trims it down to exactly, so you can input um, up to like 20 volts or something into this and it'll just spit out um, 6 volt exactly. Um, if you move this pin like that and put it there, then that's 5 volt. And if you put it there, it's 6 volt. And I've tested it and it's like exactly 6 volt. So, the next thing... Next thing I'm going to try is undo all these and get to the board and see exactly where the power goes in and try and tap in off onto that just with two wires rather than doing all this jumper stuff. So um, I'll try that and see, see what happens. I think that's going to be a bit easier. And if that doesn't work, then it's blown up for whatever reason. And we're going to get a new one. Yeah, I just had a look under there. I lifted... Um Um, I lifted this board up, a bit tricky because that's the screen as well, I didn't realise and that all came apart so hopefully it's all gone back in the right spot, it's all screwed in so it can only go in one way. But to me it looks like on the traces that it is, it's just positive to positive and then negative to negative which means it's only, it's only um, 3 volt, um, it's not 6 volt so I probably should have tried that first, hopefully I haven't blown it up but uh, we will see. I'll put all this back together and then we'll chuck three volts to it. Alright, so I've had a quick look. Um, big dub's just down the road from me. Um, it's in store. Um, so I might just zip down there, go and pick it up. Kmart have got similar ones. Um, they got some ones that aren't battery operated for like nine dollars, so it might be a bit, bit too cheap. Um, these are digital glass platform, and they're USB rechargeable. Comes with a two meter cable. Um, all the other ones I'm seeing, half of them take those stupid button cells, and the other half take triple A's and double A's. So you'd probably be, oh, I don't know, I don't know what's more convenient, just um, changing batteries out or just ch recharging this. I'm sure it wouldn't take too long to recharge. So I might do that, 40 bucks, not too bad. It's only got one review and someone said that, it, uh, where was it here? Worked well for a week, now it just says error. I mean, Big Dub's pretty good, you keep the receipt, you just take it back, you get a new one. Um, so yeah, I'll go and get that, I think. Um, don't know what warranty it's got, but uh, easy to read, white, Ellie, superior, safe glass. Yeah, that'll do. I, I'm not interested, I just had a look, quick look at JB and all that and um, they're talking $200, 150 bucks for those ones that track your weight and everything. I don't really need that because I've already got that in the app. So, um, yeah, it's not necessary for that. So, all good. All right. Well, yeah, I'll call the video it done there, I think. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a fail. Shame for the first one. But I'm sure there'll be other ones that we can, yeah, fix, try and fix. All good. Catch you next time.